Hello again, I am back at it this time with double jousting daggers. So I'm going to use these two daggers here. They just happen to look the exact same, uh, but I'll show you what they are. There's also this shield that looks freaking awesome, but you know, it's a shield. I'm not a big fan of those as I've expressed in the past. And yeah, I'll, I'll show here the, uh, the shield is this thing, undead damage, doesn't really matter, but it has poison obviously because the, I mean not even obviously because it doesn't show it, but it has poison because you can see the, the glow to it. And then I'm not even going to use the shield, so not sure why I'm saying that. However, these slicing blades I'm most definitely going to use. One is poison and criticals. Uh, critical is probably one of the best perks. Poison is definitely good. I wouldn't say the best, but you know. Might as well have these poison because these poison daggers are pretty awesome. Um, this other poison is poison plus poison, uh, legendary shiv. But yeah, both of them legendary shivs and yet yeah, one, both poison, one poison and critical. So pretty cool combo. I'm going to have a lot of poison um, with my jousting. And yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and get on to it. To the joust. I didn't really explain what a jousting is or, or what... <laughs> what jousting is in this game uh, i'm sure most people know what jousting is uh, period but hmm let's see i i'm thinking about vile halls um maybe underworld though no nah. all of that thinking and i think i'm gonna do underworld <laughs> depends on the map if the map's pretty good Oh my goodness, that's a huge map. Um, yeah, might as well. I haven't done a, a big map in a while, so I'll give it a shot. Um, do the recommended tier 6 difficulty and just see if I don't get lost in this. I think basically taking a lot of left turns should do the trick. And otherwise, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll find our way. Hopefully we find a map and I'll be, I'll be okay from there. But who knows? Who knows? Level 50. Okay. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, there were three poison attributes on my weapons. So I had the poison elemental perk, uh, that's on both of the daggers. So it's like, a it shows in the weapon as a poison blade. Uh, I think it's a slicing blade. I, I don't know. Dagger or something. Okay. There, there's different, different names for the daggers and knives in this game. Um, but whatever it is, it says poison before it, and then it has the perks below it. So one of the perks on one of these is poison. One of them's critical. Um, however, since we have three total poisons, I believe that that will, I don't know why I'm spending so much time in this room, but you know, might as well. Uh, but yeah, three total poisons should mean that I have more likely of a chance to get the poison, uh, Croc, as some people call it. Um, however, we will see. I'm gonna try to stab this guy. Okay. Whew, got him. Um, but yeah, so jousting, what I mean by this is literally just walking at people. Uh, or not people. They're not people. Uh, but walking at these guys and stabbing them. Um, I'm not even moving my arms uh, half the time, at least. You do sometimes have to move your arms a little bit to aim where you're going. However, you can kind of just run at them, and usually you take some damage if you get really close to them um, and don't kill them in the first shot. Like this guy, if I just ran forward at that guy, I would die. Oh, that might actually kill me. And we might be dead here. Eh, we've got some health, so I'm okay. However, uh... Yeah, that, that could be kind of bad. So, it is it is scary. Oh, especially against these guys. Um, ugh. Woof. It's scary to, scary to do the stabby poke um, against ice and against um, the purple guys. Purple guys tend to not die on the first hits, so can be tough and then the zombies you can't just go for their bodies because they're not going to die so you have to go for their head but it's pretty easy to aim head level and then you'll get that kill almost no matter what we've got a key so i'm going to go ahead and open this um as you can see it's it's kind of a sloppy fight especially if you just leave your arms there and poke 
if you hold your arms out far, it will be a little bit more viable than if you hold them really close to you. Cool, legendary mace. I always love getting maces. Um, but let's see which way. I'm going to go left, I said. Um, but yeah, so it's probably best to like actually poke. However, as I said that, it, it didn't really didn't really help me um okay so ugh. poke poke poking's hard um ugh. Ugh. come on Ooh. already nine percent see if i can eh. no, i'm gonna heal myself real quick don't want to be too risky and these small rooms they're tough oh man sometimes the the weapons will get stuck in your opponents as well um Hmm. This is, a, this is a lot less viable than I thought. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, however, I think I think it's still fairly viable compared to some other options. And if you just have a ton of health, um, which with Vitality, being able to regenerate your health, that Exo perk makes it so that it doesn't really matter if you just keep getting hurt. Thank goodness I found a map. Let's go. So even though I have a map, it's still going to be confusing. You can see the layers within this dungeon. Kind of crazy. I think I got to go up first. Oh, yep. And then, wow. This is an insane dungeon. Pretty cool, though. Um, all right. Let's kill some guys. Ugh. Got one. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, so I am, I am aiming my pokes a little bit. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I'm good. Come on. Uh-oh. Don't get hit by that. Oof. Ah, don't get hit by this. Okay. Kill him. Good, good. Not too shabby at all. Um, Still 100 health. Fantastic. We got a key there. I believe there's a key down here that I missed, so I'm going to go down here. Oh, there's another key. Man, keys all over the place. But there's always a key right here as well. So, wow. Already full on keys. Fantastic. Let's see where we go next. Um, oh yeah, the top of this didn't have anything connected to it, so I'm just going to go this way, because I had to go down here anyway, and fight some guys. I'm going to put the key here. Hopefully I don't forget that. I probably will. <sighs> so, oh, jeez, explosion. Um, but after these guys are poisoned, it's pretty good to um, try to get a hit. Oh, man, killed me. No, okay, let's... Give myself a health potion. What do we got? No health potions left. Wow. So this is this is not good. If I if I die here, I'm dead. I'm dead, dead. Wow. 46 health already. Um, here, let's see. Let's see if I can get some. I'll just let the regen kick in a little bit. Let's see if I can poke these guys to death. Oh, you know what? I should have used Pierce. That was silly of me. Uh, I am using the Impale perk right now. Or not Impale. Sorry. Uh. Yeah, uh, critical. Using a critical perk, and critical perk is good. However, um, it's not quite. Oh, come on, this is this is gonna be tough. Um, let's see, one poke at a time, maybe. If I if I use my off hand. Ooh. Yeah, their lunges, their lunges are dirty. Oh, shucks, where? That's not good. Ugh. I think I got, oh, I didn't kill immediately. Ah, poke in the face just didn't do anything. Okay, there we go. That poke in the face did something. Um, wow, I'm just getting arched down. Ugh. What? Come on, stop missing. Okay, didn't miss that one. Ugh. It's definitely easier to poke guys in the face with the right hand um, just because they tend to block with their left hand. Um, I also don't know if when I poke these guys, oh, that's not good. Okay, we got them. Um, okay, that was everyone, nice. And I got a potion, fantastic. Uh, I don't know if when I poke these guys, it, oh, there's another key. I think that was the key I dropped. Let's, wait, whoa, 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 what am I doing? Um, no, I don't need that. I need the skeleton key. Getting myself confused here. Okay, opening the gate, fantastic. And what do we have? Yeah, we have the room to the left and then the room to the 
right, but that's where we came from. I don't know. I'm a little confused, but it's okay. We've got a key. I'm going to go ahead and open this chest right here, and then we'll pick up another key right after I open it. Okay. And we've got... Oh, a nice guy. Hopefully that doesn't kill us. Oh. Ooh. Okay. We poked him. Poked him good enough. Get poked. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. Jousting. Strong stuff. Okay. Good. How much? 75? Not bad. I, I don't know what I got from that chest. That's okay, though. Um, give me a key here. Fantastic. And again, I don't have the inventory space for it, so I'm going to try to find another chest at some point. Um, and then I think this is... No, that's not where we came from. We came from down here, I believe. So if I go this way, that will probably be to the end, so I'm going to go this way. This way first. No, nope, sorry. That that's oh my gosh, I'm confusing myself. That way is to the end, the the final part of the dungeon, because um ah, because the gate opened. If the gate didn't open, it would not be the end. I also left the key there. Oh, okay, fantastic. These guys are gonna die from the uh <laughs> from the obstacles, the the axes. Ugh. Okay, got him. But yeah, you, you really do have to... Oh, what? It just stabbed... What? That's crazy. Apparently, okay. I guess it stabbed me right there. Interesting. So it can stab you from below. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because it went like up right there. So don't stand there, guys, because you will die. And if, if three people stand there at once and they all die at the same time in a multiplayer session, then you all die and you have to restart the dungeon. Luckily, I'm in single player, so I just respawn, but i <laughs> that's still something I, I'm not a huge fan of, uh, even when things like this do happen. Um, where do I go from here? Uh, wait, I thought I came from that way, but it looks like that is not where I came from. So I'm going to go right first, and then I'm going to go straight back, and then I'm going to go to the little thing. But yeah, this is quite the dungeon I chose. Oh my gosh, jumped right at my face. That was a lot of damage. Die spider. Ooh. No! Yeah, it's, it's hard to poke these spiders because you can't just run. Okay, I might die here. Eh. Okay, I killed, I cheated. I cheated, I, I threw the thing. I shouldn't have done that, that's okay. Ugh. Ugh. There we go, got that guy. Ooh. Yeah, but I, I don't know if when I'm double poking, if both of the pokes register or only one. I'm pretty sure only one does. One at a time. That's what it feels like, at least. Like, I'm getting the haptic feedback on only one at a time. Which is kind of weird, but I guess it makes sense. Ugh. Okay. No! Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> Had to throw that because I couldn't get that low when I was frozen. Um, okay. Fantastic. Grab some gold. Open this thing. Honestly, I don't even know what this lever does, but I opened it anyway. And we'll see. But yeah, so daggers, not not great for poking. Um, I see I see Royal Rush do this all the time. Um, just, man, when, when Royal Rush goes around and, and I, I think he pokes stuff, but maybe he's swinging... Maybe it just makes sense to him, but yeah, it doesn't doesn't seem too viable for me. At least if you're if you don't have a whole team to carry you, just in case you do die from running around poking everything. Um, but you know that's fine. Uh, okay, I got another random key that I don't need. Might need for something. I think I'm going this way, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm going this way, and. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna open this door first before no there's no door there usually there's a door there okay we poked that guy that's good I'm gonna try to kill this no ah oh, yeah see it's it is very freaking dangerous to fight these guys um any ice guys so <laughs> ideally this strat would work a lot better in a poison in the vile halls dungeon. Uh, well, I almost died there. Um, because 
you don't get frozen. Vile Halls does not have any freeze guys. And okay. Another place. Um man, this is a huge dungeon. Okay. Stab that guy. Um, but yeah, so Vile Halls, because you don't get frozen, definitely better to use this strat in there compared to this. Alright. And if we just kinda if we run forward and just kind of like go to the side of them, maybe that works. Maybe that's something I'm missing. Um, let's kill this guy first. Okay. Ooh. No. Oh. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is this is kind of working. Oh, I didn't have a weapon. <laughs> yeah. So I guess it's not straight on jousting that is the. The way to do it it's the the side on joust thing kind of like how i've explained previously how it's uh definitely easier to um go to the side of the enemies to get around their block rather than straight on because then their their weapons are in the way and you cannot get through a weapon in this game unless you have a crossbow or or a staff um but shooting the staff not actually swinging the staff uh the magic only works from a range, I guess. Rare shield, all right. Some garbage, no, that's okay. Uh, got a key, I'll put that in my inventory. Good stuff, we got plenty of potions to work with here. I can keep getting uh, last standed and I'll be totally fine. Okay, so this is the way we gotta go now. And, oh cool. Do things even spawn in here? No, this is just a purely a, a chest room, a little loot room. It's pretty cool. Usually I start dungeons in this room. Rare blade, fantastic. So some of those are awesome. Hopefully that one was awesome. All right, and as you can see, not too challenging to just walk straight forward, especially if you get lucky <laughs> to get through that. Um, okay, then I gotta go this way. I could have used the haste potion. That probably would have saved some time. Um, ooh, what do we have here? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. We don't want those bats. We do not want those bats. Okay, you can't poke bats either. I mean, you technically can like this or turning it upside down and doing this, but I find it easier to just swipe them like that. Um, all right. Opening this. And hopefully that wasn't a total waste. We got some poison there dissipate that poison and give me the chest thank you and a key cool yeah it's one of those rooms where it gives you a key legendary medium sword that is not fantastic because it is shorter than there's no such thing as a long sword in this game i don't think um however it's shorter than some other models <laughs> so not gonna not gonna go for that what do we have in here go to the side oh nice okay nice Okay, yeah, so that's the strat. That is it. I, I found it. It took me a little bit into the video to figure out what the Royal Rush has been doing. I, I don't know for sure if that's actually what he does, but um, I'm, I'm speculating here. I'm making an educated guess. Oop, okay. Well, you can still get jumped on, that's for sure. And these, these uh, whatever guys, the purple guys, will always be kind of hard. All right, there we go. Got him. Give me this key. No! Oh! Scary. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Got him before he attacked. Okay. Kill this guy. Ah! Accidentally opened my inventory. Good stuff. Okay. Map. Where are we going? We're going to the right first, and then the end dungeon is behind me. All right. Um, oh, great, great. Kill the bat and open the chest. Bam. Any more? Oh, another bat. Ugh. It's a frozen bat. Don't want to get frozen. Was that really it? Just two bats? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh, is this a... Oh, no, I thought that was a key for a second. Nope, there's only ever a key right here. Um, but yeah, now I have an extra key. An extra six keys, actually. Bam. And we're going to go into the last room with six extra keys that we can't use on... Oh, this usually pops up a chest but i don't think that's going to pop up a chest because this is the final boss room and final boss rooms just they give you the drone but nothing else and there's no reason behind me uh putting those keys down but i did anyway 
All right, let's see what we can do with the Royal Rush Strat. Ugh, oh, I missed that guy. Ugh, oh, come on. Ooh, I almost got hit by the ice guy. Um, okay. Interesting. Come on. Okay, nice. So I gotta, I gotta make sure when I do get those ice guys that I am, ooh, um, hitting them in the stomach, not in the head. All right. Yeah, and I, I do really have to reach out with my arm to make it ideal. Oh. I gotta back away from my border too, my boundary. Oh, I did exactly what I said I wouldn't do, or I shouldn't do. Die! Okay, we're good. Okay, we got one guy. Oh, two guys. Let me give my, ugh, ugh, good, good. Ugh. Yeah, so I, I figure that's kind of the best thing to do when they're in that state of uh, poison is to um, get both of your weapons. Oh, geez, that's not good. I, I don't know if I can do this without throwing my weapon, actually, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm going to try to use the environment to my advantage and then go get the spider. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, yeah, this, this is tough. I might need to throw my throw my weapons here. Um, nah, I'm gonna... Ha, ha. Come on, spiders! Okay, yep, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, we're throwing. Um, health. My gosh, there's so much stuff in my inventory. <laughs> it's hard to know what's what. Okay, here we go. Throw the weapons and kill the spiders. Good, spider's dead. Now, we just have these guys. And those spiders are the reason that arachnophobia mode is coming out. Ugh. Yeah, the backs. Okay, come on, man. Get out of here. Get out of here, spider. Ah. Uh, no. I'm missing. Ugh. Ugh. No. I should have hit him in the back. Here we go. Ugh. I think, you know what? Pretty sure backstabbing is a thing. That's probably what I'm doing. Um. Yeah. You know what? That might be... That might be the way, is just get them get them poisoned and then stab them in the back. Or maybe I'm just doing a lot of damage and that kills them no matter what, but that's that looks to be the way to kill them. All right, big boy, I am definitely not gonna be uh, stabbing him. I'll, I'll give a little demonstration of what happens when I go in to melee this guy. Oh, wait, wait, maybe I can, ha ha. Ugh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do a little health. Stab him in the back. Ugh. Ugh. Uh oh. There he is. Ugh. Okay. I gotta make sure I keep my. Okay. Yeah. See, he just... <laughs> you don't even see him swing, and he just magically hits you. It's it's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Let me grab another two potions here real quick, and let's go for some more. Do some jump shots this time. There we go, and then hit him in the back, and then grab a potion. All right, will I be able to do this without throwing my weapon? That's that's the question. Probably not. I think I will probably die. Ugh. Okay, okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Here we go. Backstab. Ugh. Double backstab. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. Okay, backstab. Ah. Nope. This guy is very tanky. There we go. All right, I'm getting the strat down. I uh, think I understand. I understand the way of the stabby stabby poke. And fantastic. We ended up with seven extra keys. It's one of those dungeons, just sucks. And you see the podium doesn't even come up with the level three chest. And uh, yeah, beautiful amount of keys. Um, and a lot of poking action. Jousting, I guess I, I would call it, and many others have called it. Uh, yeah, 87 kills, nine weapon modules. It's it's one of those long dungeons. And uh, if you were patient enough to stick around to the end, congratulations. Thank you for <laughs> sticking with me and enjoying these, these poking and my evolution of the joust technique. Uh, other than that, I think I'm I'm good to go. 
and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out, guys. Oh, leave a comment too. Do that. I, I haven't been asking. I like comments. See ya.